All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on H and uh, Owens, and I'm going to do this video. It's going to be titled "Street Rat Visits the Historic West Side of uh, Las Vegas." Uh, as you can see, that this area. Well, let me say this: um, this area, I believe, it developed in the '40s with a lot of African Americans that were moving out here from Louisiana. Okay, and they end up uh, building houses over here, and this is where they flourish. I know it's, the sun is in the way, but I apologize. Uh, but we're just going to kind of ride up up here, in here a little bit, ride around. I'll try to avoid the sun as uh, much as possible. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, dude. They were at Flourish, uh, as far as in uh, uh, establishments, businesses, churches, and all this, uh, all that other good stuff. Okay. A lot of the establishments are not here anymore because of the desegregation uh, laws in the 70s. So many had moved to uh, other areas. But, uh, there's many of uh, these establishments are still here. Say, for an example, uh, I'm over here on uh, Maro, uh, F and Moreau. Here's a couple of churches. This is uh, Second Baptist right here. And Victory off to the left. I'm going to see if I can get a better view of uh, Victory Baptist Church. I need to go the other way to avoid the sun. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this is Victory Baptist Church. Uh, a lot of people attend this church. I've been a couple of times, but this is not really my church. And I don't go to church uh, really that often anymore. Uh, rather, I make my own videos, uh, Christian that is, and uh, I'll provide you the uh YouTube page where you can check out those videos. So I haven't got a chance to make all the videos I want to make, but I'll be uh, at one point in time then uh, I'll broadcast that a little bit more often. So here's uh, a few other establishments here on uh, E Street. Okay. It used to be over here on uh, Jefferson and uh, D Street. It used to build a school over here, like a little uh, preschool, and uh, they tore down. And that was here. I was probably since like the sixties and seventies. Like I'm telling, they had missionaries that were running the school. This building right here is uh, on the left. That's the uh, Power eighty eight radio station. Uh, I've done some business and I tried. To uh, had a uh, uh, run a restaurant. I had it for about three or four months, but it didn't do that well. Oh well, lesson learned. So, yeah, but that's that's that you know that's cool. And as soon as I can make a right turn here on Washington Avenue, yeah, you can see this nice little park here. Now, they had built this park at the time when they built the 15 uh, on um, the west side, I want to say in the early 70s, 1975. I did a uh, independent studies project on that, and I got an A out of the class. So and that's how I know. Yeah, they had to take some of the west side away to get that, uh, cut that interstate through, unfortunately. So, yeah. Oh, you know, I was just thinking. There's another establishment I want to go check out here. On H. All the businesses here are not just churches. Uh, you have a few uh, marks here. Uh, I bypass them, but we'll maybe get a, a chance to do uh, that another time. Okay. But many of the churches are successful, okay? 
uh, there's just a few businesses here, you know, they like um, back in the day. But here's one business. I used to go visit this. Uh, this is the Ahuru Safari Market where they sell uh, different uh, stuff, uh, odds and ends there, jewelry and that. And the other uh, place, uh, this, I used to visit this place here. This is a tailor, tailoring place. And uh, I believe that they're closed like Tuesdays and Wednesdays or Mondays and Tuesdays. But yeah, they, uh, this place been around forever. I've always been around uh, since, as long as I've been here. But yeah, you can get your uh, suits and your clothes tailored. They can fix uh, you, uh, stuff if they, you need to knit or sew, like your purse or whatever. They can do it for a few reasonable price. Now, I'm on Bonanza. And I want to take you to this forum. But a long time ago, this was called the Moulin Rouge the parking lot. I'm going to drive up in that parking lot here so we can see it. And this was a hotel that was built in the 50s. And you guys could look that and see like it was really a nice little uh, hotel for African Americans, okay, to uh, come. Because at the time, there was a place for uh, uh, your black people to go, okay? So this was, this was it. And I do know that uh, people like Sandy, Sammy Davis Jr., a few others, uh, Johnny Mathis. Uh, I don't want to be. I don't want to misquote, but I do know that uh, they had lost it because they had a couple of hotels over here too. Uh, I can't recall where it's at, but it's a historical place. One of the hotels that some of the celebrities got to stay because again, there was no place to go. But yeah, they had this place open for a year and they recently tore this tore down about two years ago, but it was sitting here for like forever. I think they were looking for an investor to buy and uh, to do a, a replica of a, of a new hotel, but they wasn't able to get anybody to uh, to buy it. I, I thought the top, top was Bob Johnson. Okay, and I don't know what happened uh, to that project. So let's see if we can visit some other areas. And I'm going to pause this video to save some uh, save some time. All right, I'm just going to do one last clip, and that's going to complete this segment. Uh, I'm on uh, MLK, Martin Luther King, that is, and Washington, and I'm pro I'm going to ride up to Mario's uh, West Side Market, and that's going to complete this video. But here's a few uh, establishments uh, right ahead of us, and uh, they have been affected by this uh, coronavirus as far as uh, the governor uh, closing uh, non-essential businesses. So really, unless it's not, you know, you guys should know by now, unless it's like stores or like gas stations, then you, uh, these businesses are not allowed to uh, operate. So a few places I used to go over in this shopping center. Okay, then there's... Uh, they sell clothes and uh, some other stuff. Um, hats. I used to buy some of these hats over here. Uh, a haircut place. Okay, this establishment uh, is closed. So, yeah. And we'll go to one more uh, establishment. So, over here is a barber shop. Uh, one of these businesses is already closed. So uh, I don't think it's going to open back up. And this is a little restaurant I've eaten here a few times. And I do know this place has changed hands a few times. Uh, there used to be a guy named uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Banks used to uh, have that restaurant. Actually, he had that and he had uh, 
his own uh, grocery store, and he used to be uh, a pro basketball player in the NBA. He's a Las Vegas native. I met him, and I met uh, two of his brothers, so his brothers were running it for him. So I'm going to zip up uh, Martin Luther King, and we're just going to ride past Mario's. So, yeah, we do have a few uh, businesses here. Yeah, and while I'm just thinking about it, we have just broke uh, 3,000 cases. So I think we're like 3,100 in here in the state of Nevada. Uh, so yeah, uh, 3,100 and counting. And it looks like it's about 100 cases every day. So I guess it's going to get worse before it gets better. But here's uh, some establishments uh, here on the right side. But I wanted to take you to Mario's. Uh, this is a nice little market here, and they also sell hot food here. I, I come here on Sundays to go buy meat, and every now and then I may get something to eat here. But here's uh, Mario's West Side Market. Real quick, I'm, a, I'm going. Uh, so, yeah. Wow, he's doing curbside now. But it came to my understanding that you. So he does hot food as well. And I think that the state has cut that out to where you cannot do hot food and sit down. So people would sit down and eat. Yeah, but I guess, you know, uh, the state had caught on to it. He banned that temporarily. So, yeah, uh, this is kind of like the hangout spot. And... I was just thinking we can go check out uh, another area real quick. I'm gonna pause this video. Uh, just as an epilogue, we're just gonna visit. Uh, I'm over here on our Revere, and this is the Seven Seas right here. Okay. And that used to be a nice little club a long time ago. I believe it was established in the 80s to about 2015. And the guy looks like either he's doing some repairs on it or he's going to probably sell it. Uh, his name was Mr. Lewis. I remember talking to him. Uh, he's well in his 70s. And he gave me the insight and encouragement to start my own uh, restaurant and so forth. But, you know, because of the many of the economic down down times i lost my restaurant and he was going through the same thing too when i came and i told him that yeah you know things didn't work out and all that so this is pretty much a, a glimpse of the west side okay uh historic uh, largely uh, african-american there are quite a few latin people that uh, live here as well so if you like this video uh subscribe okay uh, and share with your friends. And stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen.